Hey there, Miranda Wilson here with another fun lesson idea from Science Journal for Kids. Today, we're going to focus on some activities examining invasive species and their impacts on other organisms, specifically seabirds and ecological communities on islands. These activities would be great for middle or high school students. The curriculum contains five lessons that you can pick and choose from. The first lesson is about seabirds, the types, their diets, their behavior, and conservation concerns. Seabirds are very vulnerable to invasive species, especially in isolated or island habitats, which makes them good case study organisms. The second lesson is about invasive species. Students investigate different invasive species and share their findings with the class. Then students use their knowledge of invasive species to look at food webs and determine the potential impact of invasive species on other organisms. A crossword puzzle is included to help students remember vocabulary. The third lesson is about the consequences of invasive species. It uses a familiar island invasive, the rat, as a case study. There's background information about rats. Then, in groups, students run through several scenarios monitoring the population of rats and seabirds over time. There are extension questions and math calculations that incorporate the time it takes for rats and seabirds to reproduce. Don't worry, there are teacher's keys for everything. Lesson four has students investigate case studies for preventing invasive species from gaining a foothold in ecosystems. There are questions to help students navigate the case studies, along with keys for teachers. Students then develop their own prevention plan for an imaginary island. Using this information, students divide into teams, the rats, the seabirds, and the environmental security team, and play an invasion game. Lesson 5 has students investigating case studies where prevention has failed and invasive species need to be eradicated. Students divide into four groups, and each group presents their findings about their case study. The curriculum also has several appendices with links to additional resources, including fact sheets about seabirds, information about common invasive species around the world, and a glossary of terms to help you out. These activities come from the Seabird Youth Network, which is an organization in Alaska whose goal is to involve students in education about seabirds and conservation, all in an effort to establish long-term monitoring of these vulnerable populations. This is a great example for your students of how young people can get involved in conservation activities. If you're looking for adapted articles to go along with these lessons about invasive species, Check out our article titled, How Can Black Rats Change the Behavior of Reef Fish? Researchers discovered that islands with invasive black rats had smaller seabird populations, which means that there was less nitrogen influx from guano into nearby coral reefs. Algae near these islands were not as nutritious, and farming damselfish were not as territorial over their food. On islands without rats and more seabirds, Algae was really nutritious, and farming damselfish defended their territories very aggressively. This is a great example of the indirect effects that invasive species can have in the community. We have other articles about invasive species for you to check out as well, like what makes some species successful invaders, and why do invasive species like artificial lakes? Don't forget to take a look at our videos at the bottom of the article page when you're planning your class time. There's always a video meant to introduce the topic of the article to your students. For each adapted article, we also provide an audio version of the article being read for those students who might need some extra help with their reading skills. You can access our audio versions on the webpage for each adapted article or the Science Journal for Kids YouTube channel. That's all for today. If you'd like more teaching tips and ideas for lesson planning, please check out the audio or video versions of our lesson ideas podcast. Also, make sure to check out our Ask a Scientist videos for short interviews with some of our researchers. You can find them on our YouTube channel. If you have questions or comments, please share them in the feedback form on our website. 
or head to Facebook to join our official community group. You can also sign up for our free monthly newsletter to learn about our latest content. And as always, please visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources. Thank you.